Yeah, we, we, don't we, even, yeah. we gotta go down a whole list. You got just, 27 jobs, bro. Right, exactly. You're African American. The right? host <laughs> of the most. The host Jamaican. of the you most. Know, hey, 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 there, man. Hey, hey. Michael Strahan, the host of the most. Good morning, America, Super Bowl champ, uh, Strahan, Kiki, and Sarah. Sarah. Sarah yeah. Man, you, man. Hey. Pyramid. They, some reason they keep giving me oh, jobs. Oh, we did the pyramid. Do, do the pyramid. Yeah, we did the pyramid. <laughs> hey, me and Gail got it. <laughs> Boy, you already know. Did you win? Did you win it? You yeah, did we won. not. Um, you don't. They don't win money. They try to help somebody else win we, money. Yeah. Oh, okay. People okay, want yeah, a little yeah, money. Right. They want a little money. Okay. Me and Gail, we got down though. Okay. He and Gail yeah, King played against each other. It was okay. good. It was no, good. it was fun though. Me and Gail got down. I yeah, can dig it. So how, how you like having all those jobs though? I right. love it, man. It keeps you busy on the move. You no, know, you know what? Keeps me busy. Never too. I mean, I'm so busy. Sometimes too busy it seems. Yeah. But never out of control. Yeah. But it kind of like, everything like a wave. Like football season now is tough because I got to do all the morning stuff in New York and I got to fly out here to LA every weekend. I get Saturday off and then Sunday I work all day at Fox and I fly right back and start all over again. Mm -hmm. well, it's a great job. You guys know at one point, I mean, I'm just happy to have a job. Uh, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're just trying <laughs> to find a, a balance with all the, the moving pieces yeah. and parts. So I've been able to kind of find a, um, Cause you got family, like the sweet spot. Cause right, I got family, family, I got my kids, kids yes, all yeah, I got stuff. my family, it's, it's crazy. But doing all these jobs allows me to take care of my the kids family, yeah. and right. my family. And, and so I ain't complaining. It's just like Facts. football, it's like, it's a privilege and it, it affords you the opportunity to take care of not only yourself, but your family. But, it, but also, and you guys know, football's hard. Mm -hmm. This ain't it's, hard. That's it's the hardest this thing. Yeah, this ain't hard. I, I talk for a living. So right. is this? So yeah, I, I like that we're on this topic. So what? What has the transition been like? Especially, I mean, we all we play sports or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's that structure. You know, yeah. you, you definitely had a coach. <laughs> Y'all had to be. <laughs> you ain't five minutes early. You're late. You're late. <laughs> exactly. So you <laughs> really know about structure. So how is that transition going from? Like almost military. <laughs> to, yeah, almost, that was worse than military. <laughs> now, so you, it, it, this right here forced a little bit of freedom, but there's. Some it, you know to what? It the well. structure, but football in itself was structure, like working out, yeah. um, like the discipline to work out. And for me, I like to work out a lot by myself. I didn't like. I didn't necessarily need a coach to motivate right. me and push me to work out. But the structure of doing all those things works well in TV because. You know, I read all my notes. I know what I'm talking about, like the preparation right. to be able to remember things. Because mm -hmm. you know how you're in a game. They give you game plans, and your route this, or, or my, my, my rush is that. And then the same call, they get in the game, and they're making that call. And they, you know, they got to keep the call, but they got to change your route right yeah. in the middle of all the chaos make that's going on. You got to be able to make adjustments. And you got to be thinking fast on your feet. Same you got to react. And TV's the same way. You gotta make adjustments, you gotta, you gotta think fast on your feet, you gotta be able to react, but instead of reacting verbally, you react verbally. Yeah, verbally man. And, and, and it's, it's easier, because I'm not sore right. after a show. You ain't lying. You ain't ain't nobody <laughs> going, you suck, you this. You know, ain't nobody so, doing so, that. So going to the bench is not like going to the trailer. No. <laughs> you go to the trailer, you like, hey, you I'm good, yeah. post it up. You, how long you been doing like in the, the TV New York stuff? Like what? Five, six years now? What, I've been no, at Fox for 12. Yeah. I've been doing the other stuff, I want to say, for seven. Yeah. Seven, eight or years 16, now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Seven, so which years. life, I mean, obviously, I mean, yeah, which, both has its perks. It's a man. It's a, it's a difference. Being sports is amazing. But once you go into stuff that is more, world, or, you know, mainstream, mainstream. where mm -hmm. the, the, the husbands, the wives, the kids, the grandparents, mm -hmm. everybody watches, oh, yeah. your life is completely different. Yeah, it's like it's, when I did uh, Dancing with the Stars. It's like a totally yeah. different demographic. I had like old ladies staring at me going up the escalator. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm and like, they never knew you this played was, football, this was, probably. Right, this you know was after doing? I had done the show. So I'm like, why are they staring at me like that? Mm -hmm. And then, so then they was like, and I, I saw some of my like, oh, he was, he was, she, the lady she was telling her mom or whatever, she goes, he was on Dancing with the Stars. And I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. But people don't wear, after we get so, we get so boxed in that what we did and what we do is, is like, oh, this is the top, the pinnacle, whatever. Not, right. And I used to think the same way. Right. When I remember when I got the job at Live with Kelly, because I never thought I was going to get that job. I was on there. Guest host, I got lucky enough to guest like host. Like 20 times, right? Yeah, that's, yeah that's, but that's I, well, the crazy. first time, the first time that I was, um, I did that, 
was I went on as a guest after the Super Bowl, and I wasn't real a real guest. A real guest, they call you, you walk out right, there, right. you sit on the couch in the chair and interview right, you. Right. Me, they were doing that little host chat thing, and Regis and them say, oh, Michael Strand's here. And I walk out, I basically stand by the desk. Mm -hmm. Or sit by the desk or something. It wasn't really like a real, interview. real like interview guest type thing. And I always say they did it because Eli wasn't available. So <laughs> but when, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it though. <laughs> so when I left, I was like, I told the producer, I said, Hey, if Regis ever takes a vacation, need somebody to come fill in. I love to fill in. Blah blah blah. A year later, they asked me, mm. probably probably because they had nobody else to fill in. Yep. So I never thought I was going to get the job. Mm. And I think that they thought, oh, the athlete, we'd give him a shot. The athlete, right. he's a New York guy. One you day. Know, in one day. Token, right. token black guy. Yeah. <laughs> in yep. one day, we'll just throw him in there. Yep. And then they kept asking me to come back. So I just, but I never thought I'm going to get the job. Because every time you would see something, it would be everybody except for me going to get the job. Because mm -hmm. this guy's been in TV forever. This guy's done it. This guy, uh, the, oh, he's entertaining. He's great. But, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't have experience. He'll never get it, you know. Now, wasn't that, well, clearly, your, wasn't that your model when uh, you did the best damn sports show, right? Didn't yeah. you, like, do that a whole bunch of times and just, yeah. like, as a guest? and I did the best damn sports show a lot. And then my last year or so, they actually hired me that I would go on every Monday mm -hmm. after a game and I and it was great because I learned so much there to help me on everything I do now like right. I would literally sit in a room in a studio with just a camera in my face and sometimes I have a monitor where I could see them most of the time I didn't mm -hmm. and I could just hear them and I had to tell stories and be animated and use my face to have a conversation sometimes when I didn't have my words mm -hmm. and that's really what I do now, especially on the daytime stuff, when when you're sitting there and you're you're doing these stories and somebody's telling a funny story, or something, and just the look on Facial your face, because yeah. I don't want to interrupt you telling your story, but yeah. I want to let you know the people at home, let yeah. you know I'm engaged. Right. Mm -hmm. So like that helped. Um, when I did Brothers, the sitcom for yep. a year, yep. that was great because it was cool, to like being a whole acting environment, just see how the whole system worked and mm. how the producing worked. How to I would go sit in the writing room with them and watch how the writers work, but just to learn the business. And then it taught me, okay, so there's some things I like, there's some things I don't like. I know I don't want to do this. And I know, Like for me to, to think about going to auditions and sitting there that's and all you. that, you that's just, that. yeah, it's yeah. not me. It's just not me. <laughs> it's a bit tedious. It's yeah. just a bit tedious. And you're sitting there in the camera in your face and reading some lines and like, okay. Thank you, we'll call oh, you back. I feel great about that. And you don't get the call back. Right, like, yeah. no, I mean, just from, I'm I'm just like a fan, you know, watching Regis and Kelly, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, Kelly and Michael. It's like, yeah. how did they, everybody's like, how did he get that job? Yeah. Clearly, the Rooney Rule didn't apply to that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> you just kind of. But the crazy thing is, like, I would go in and I'm like, I ain't getting a job anyway. I can right. act a fool I here. Right. So I would I would have no pressure. I would go in there and act a fool, and and they told me I got the job when I ripped my pants off. And um, did like a Magic Mike routine. Oh yeah, I think I saw this. Because I'm wow. like, I saw Channing Tatum was gonna come on the next day, and I, I had like a few days in a row on the show, and I was like, oh, you know what? Just messing around. Yeah, Just you know, in college they called me the real Magic Mike. Right, I should rip right, off right. my pants and then, and they're like, you'll do it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah just right. throwing it out there. But I didn't know, man. I'm right. so green. I didn't know that they had a wardrobe department They'll to make it. In five I'm like, there's no way they're gonna make me do it because they can't make pants to rip off. Man, <laughs> I walked in there and had pants. Magic. <laughs> magic for magic. Magic pants for magic. But they magic said play. we knew he was willing to play at that point. Like I was willing to do anything and just have fun. Right. And um, so when I got that job, mm -hmm. they said, hold on. Like, hold on. It's going to get crazy. Mm -hmm. And they did not lie, man. Mm -hmm. It it got crazy and it's been in crazy. In a good way. In yeah. a good way. Right. Crazy it's like, good way. All of a sudden, everybody knows you. All of a sudden, all these different other opportunities came have come along. And for me, it's not always, it's about, you know, doing, like football, do your best every time. Every like, time I, I, I on the field, I explained to some guys today, and they're like, well, how is it? I said, you know what? When you're on the field, I look at a guy and go, every play is me or you, win or lose. It's, mm -hmm. no, it's no draw, it's either you or me on this play. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna turn on this film tomorrow and see me getting whipped. Right. Any play, I'm giving you the business every play because this may be my last and you're gonna get the best I got. You're gonna respect me. We're not winning the game. Right, right, At the right. end of it, 
You gonna you respect gonna walk me. away and respect me right, because exactly. as you know, when you're out there in that field and you got a reputation and somebody heard about you, I don't want them to leave the game going, man, that cat wasn't. Like, yeah, what yeah, what are y'all well, you know, tripping word, on? Word, word yeah. travel. Like, yeah, word travel. Yeah, I want you to walk away from that game and go, oh, I heard about him. Oh, you gonna have to bring was, your lunch. It was worse than I even. You gonna have to bring thought. your hard hat, your lunch box, strap, boots, everything. But that's that's the same mentality though. I take every day. When I go do the, the, the other shows, it's like everything I got, and I'm tired sometimes, mm -hmm. but in my head, I'm like, okay, I got an hour. Gotta Let's go. Right, I got right. an hour. I got that. Right, know? right, right. I got that. Because so, it's funny yeah. how it's like, like 20 years ago, or like 15, like we would all look up to like Magic Johnson as that crossover yeah. athlete into the business, business world. And now you're the who everybody looks up to for the athlete crossover to the enter entertainment world. Mm -hmm. Like you're that dude, you know? So you have a lot of other players into trying to get into the industry because what you're doing on all these shows and producing and TV stuff like that. So I just want to say congrats to that, man. Thank you. Like man. kudos for Thank 